Hey everybody, it's Lee from Lazarus Homestead. Another cooking video. I am making an apple crumble in my large cast iron pie plate. The recipe is from this cast iron cooking. Um, it calls, it's an apple cranberry, but I don't want cranberries in it, so we're just going to do the apple crumble and omit the cranberries. All right, so follow me along. We're going to get this started. All right, so before I cut my apples, I have two bags of cinnamon sugar apples that I did in 2020 that I took out of the freezer. And I'm going to add that in first. And then we will cut up some fresh apples as well. Oh my God, I can smell the cinnamon yum. It's still a little frozen, so I'm just getting them out of the bags now. This bag I'm going to dry out because it, this one was I had the apples in it. So I'm going to dry this out and save this for another use. Same with this one. With the prices of everything now, you want to save where you can. So I'll just make sure those are dried out really good. Because it calls for four apples, about one and a half, one and one third pounds, cut into one quarter inch slices. So I'm finally able to use these out of my freezer because I, I honestly forgot about them. And I am going to mix these up a little bit, and then we'll just add fresh apples to this as well. And I'll bring you. All right, we're gonna take one third a cup of sugar. We're gonna. Add the apples, the sugar, two tablespoons of flour. So let me get that. That's one, two. Now it calls for a half a teaspoon of apple pie spice, but I'm, I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna use fourth of a teaspoon of sugar. Oh no, that's cinnamon. My bad. And I found that you can make apple spice, apple pie spice with um, all spice. So I'm going to use that. I don't have cardamom that I know of. <laughs> so I'm going to add that. And one Eighth teaspoon of salt. I don't even know what my eighth of a teaspoon is. There it is. So we're just going to get that in there. We're going to mix all this around. Now then remember I had apples that had sugar and cinnamon already in the freezer. So they're probably going to get mushier than the rest, but that's all right. We're going to toss this all to get it nice and coated evenly. And then we're going to put it in a medium cast iron skillet, which is my pie plate I'm going to use. I've never used it yet. It's the first time I'm breaking it out. I'm going to grease it though. I'm going to grease it with some Crisco. So we're going to take, I'm going to grab a baggie and I am going to grease my nine inch high plate that I got from the lodge. I bought a, a special they had of this all baking stuff. So we're going to just coat that all up. We're going to add the apple mixture to it. Get it all that 
goodness out of there. You don't want to leave that in the bowl. You want that in your apple dessert. All right, so I'm going to get this evenly put in the pan here. Now for the topping, I'm going to put this aside. We're going to combine a fourth of a cup flour, which I need to get a bowl for that. So I need a fourth of a cup flour. And then you can add walnuts, but I'm not doing that. Some oats, some old fashioned oats, a fourth of a cup of that. Brown sugar, which is two tablespoons. Remaining half teaspoon of the apple pie spice and one eighth teaspoon of salt. So another one eighth teaspoon of salt. And then I don't have the apple pie spice, so we're going to go back in with a half a teaspoon. all that up. Now we're going to take a quarter cup, which is a half a stick of butter, I'll be right back. Alright, so that's a little more than a half a stick, but it'll be alright. Just going to get all this butter mixed in and make it a crumbly mixture. It's going to be good. I'm making a lasagna, a recipe for Mandy in the making, and this will be the dessert to go with it. I think the butter was a little too soft, but that's all right. What I'll do is I'll add just a little bit more flour. sugar. Bring you back. 
All right, so I got the crumb, the topping on. It's not crumbly, <laughs> and I for some reason never get it right. So I just pressed it on there. I'm gonna put this in the oven for 50 to 60 minutes. I had to take a peek. My kitchen was starting to smell like apples. Oh my yum. All right, guys. Fresh out of the oven. I had to put it on because uh, I didn't want it to spill out. It spilled out in the oven. Good thing that my oven, I lined the bottom with tin foil. But that looks scrumptious. All right. I got to let it cool a little more. Mm. I'm not a big fan of oats, so I think the next time I'm going to do it without oats. But it does need to cool off. Look at that. We do have vanilla ice cream, but I don't like vanilla ice cream over my stuff. And the apples are not fully cooked. So, mm, but they're soft. They are soft. They're actually just right. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. Yeah, I think next time I'll do it without oats and not have the butter so soft but mm, I do have more apples so I'm gonna make another batch oh yum mm. all right guys